Jesus says that he is the door. We talked last week about Jesus, Jesus, all these different things that he said. He said, I am the way, I'm the truth, the life. He also said he was the door. He was our way into heaven. There's another door, though, that I want to talk to you about. And that's the door that each one of us have in our hearts. Jesus says that we each have a door in our heart. And it's a door that he's standing at, knocking, wanting to come inside. And he says that we have to open the door for him to come in. So I have with me today a door. Now, this door has a lock on it right here. And we're going to open the door up. And if you look through, you can see me. And if I look through, I can see you. Isn't that cool? So that's my door. And the Bible says that we each have a door to our heart. Now, there's also another thing, though. Jesus stands at that door and he knocks and he says, if you open the door, I will come in and I will sup with you. That means I'll have dinner with you. I'll be with you. Hang on. There we go. I have to unlock the lock. I'll be with you all times. I am there with you through the good times, the bad times, the great times, the not so good times. I'm always there with you to be your best friend and for you to live with me and for me to live with you. But the only way Jesus can come in is if we open the door because it says that Jesus stands at the door. This is the inside of the door. On the outside where Jesus stands, what's missing? A knob. A knob. There's not a doorknob there, is there? Mm -mm. The door can only be opened from the other side, our side. We have to open the door for him. But not only is there a door, a doorknob, there's a lock. And uh, show you our lock here. Um, our lock, I have all these keys, and I'm going to give every one of you a key. Would you come up and get the keys from me? Each one of you gets a key. Take your key. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. And one for you. And one for you. If you'll take that back. Now, every one of you have a key, and I also have a key, okay? Now, I'm going to lock the lock. Now, our door has a key, okay? It unlocks the lock. This key right here unlocks the lock. I'm going to put it right there. Now, one at a time, I'm going to ask you to come up and try to unlock the lock, all right? So we're going to start right over here. Would you come up and see if your key will unlock the lock? No, it did not unlock the lock. All right, you may have a seat. Would you come up and you try the key? Try your key. Stick it in there. Now turn it, turn it all the way. Oh, no, yours didn't unlock it either. Okay, you may have a seat. Would you come up and try your lock or key in the lock? Oh, it won't work. All right. It just keeps turning and turning. All right. And the next one, would you come up? Try your key in the lock. Good job. All right. There you go. Take it out. It would not unlock the lock. All right. You come on up. All right. See if your key will open the lock. Push it all the way in. Take it all the way in. There you go. Now give it a turn. No, it won't unlock the lock either. All right. You may go back to your seat. Just hold on to it for right now because we're going to try it again in a moment. Okay. Good job. Thank you. And would you come up and would you try your lock or key in the lock? I keep wanting to say lock instead of key. All right. Good job. All right. So now everybody take your key. There you go. All right. So now, now that everybody's tried their key in the lock, I have the key that fits right here. We're going to put the, the lock on the door and we're going to lock it back just like that. Now, Jesus said, if I, knock, I stand at the door and I knock and he wants to come in. I hate it when that happens. He says, open the door and I will come in. Well, the key that opens the door is your faith or your belief in him. You have to trust in him. You have to know that he is the son of God, that he came from heaven to earth, that he died for you and me, and that he rose from the dead. When we believe those things, 
we open our door to him. The knob that's on our side, we just pull the door open with our trust and our faith and our belief in him. Belief is that key. So now, one at a time, if you all line back up, and I'm going to let you one at a time try your key. All right? So I'm going to bring it down here for you. Would you try your key in the lock? There you go. Her key opened the lock. Good mm -hmm. job. Now, if you'd lay your key right there for me. All right. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lock the lock back again. All right. Now, would you try your key in the lock? Okay. I'll hold the lock. You turn the key. Turn it all the way. Push it all the way in. There you go. Now turn it. There you go. Did it unlock the lock? It did. All right. Take your key out. There you go. Now put your key right here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put the lock back on there. Lock it back. All right. Your turn. I'll hold the lock. That way you can get your key in. There you go. There you go. Did it unlock the lock? Yes. It did, all right. All right, his key unlocked the lock as well. Same key, you did not change keys on me now, did you? Same key, all right. Try it in there. All right, good job. Your key unlocked the lock. There, okay, you may have a seat. All right, the next one may come up. All right, let me bring it down here to you. All right, put your seat in there. Okay, let me help you. You gotta push it all the way in, sweetie. All right, did you unlock the lock? It did, good job, thank you for helping me. All right, and who's next? Good job. Yours unlocked it as well. And one last one. Let's see if your key will unlock it as well. So now everybody's key unlocked the lock. You tried to unlock the lock and your key wouldn't unlock it. Then all of a sudden it would. I had the only key that would open the lock. And then all of you unlocked the lock the second time. You know what happened? You used that little thing that I told you about. You used your faith. See, Jesus says, I am the author and the finisher of your faith. I give you the faith. And when we use the faith, the belief in Jesus, we're able to unlock that lock. And when we unlock the lock, we open the door, and guess who comes in and stays with us? Wait. Jesus comes in, and he lives in our hearts. And he says, I have a future for each one of you, a great plan for your life. All you have to do is open the door, and I will come in.